And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Pirate Burn. We haven't played this kind of deck in a long time. It's going to be, you know, your traditional Misfortune, Gangplank, Noxus, Bilgewater, Burn deck. All about being very aggressive and also getting a lot of Nexus damage. We have lots of one drops in this this deck. Um, I'm actually playing a little bit less than normal. Like a lot of people play three of all of these cards. I'm actually trimming out two of them. We're going to play 10 one drops. I think that's going to be enough. But I'm playing a little less because I want to have Island Navigator also in the four mana slot with Sprayfin because I just think Island Navigator is super strong with Misfortune and just also just a really strong card in general. So we're going to have uh, two Island Navigators in there with the Misfortunes. Um, our spray fins are going to be always drawing Noxian Fervor. Those are our only spells that cost three or less. So we're always going to, so spray fin will always be an elusive attacker, which is important to have. And then also it will be Noxian Fervors to help finish off the games and get some extra Nexus damage in that way. Besides that, we have Decimates for the Nexus damage. Um, we have Jack the Winners that will be creating the Sleep with the Fishes. Those will be able to have Nexus damage. And of course, the very broken Captain Farron. Uh, Captain not so Farin, um, unfarin. I guess that that that's what you could you could say. Captain Unfarin, um, that's going to be uh, our eight eight overwhelm, creating some decimates if our opponent's able to stabilize, and we need that extra punch at the top end. But it's all going to start with these one drops, and that's where we're going to begin. Let's head on over to ranked. We'll play five games over there. Um, hopefully, get another winning record. We got two winning records so far today. Captain Unfarin. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we'll just keep our one drop. Mulligan, Captain Unfarin, and the one drop. Uh, sorry, and the five drops. And there we go, get some more ones. All right, Tomas. You can start us off. Oh, I guess I'll start us off. No one's the wiser. Everything's in place. Who wins in a fight, Farron or Ledros? Probably Farron. Hmm. It's a good question. So let's see. You you play a Farron. They play a Ledros. Your Farron and. Ledros attack and kill each other. Like, if you're the Farron, you don't attack. If you're the Ledros, you do attack, like, depending where the attack token is. But they trade, and then they have to spend mana on the Ledros again, but you spend mana on Decimates. So, you know, like, it really, you know, of course it depends on where the life tools are and everything, but... Alright, so yeah, I just wanted to, like, get the attack in, put it down to 10, um, even though, I don't know. I guess I didn't really, I was kind of talking and I didn't recalibrate considering I drew the Misfortune. I was just kind of calibrating with me having the uh, Legion the and Grenadier. Lifesteal is cheating. My opponent is straight up cheating <laughs> with that lifesteal. Straight up cheating. All right, so that will kill Misfortune with the block. We got our our deck's all about just getting all the damage in as possible. They just healed their Nexus for seven. Good thing they did, because they're down to seven. And then I can either Decimate or play this Iron Ballista. I guess I might as well just Decimate, because maybe we top deck another Decimate. Know your path the mountain changes. Having the 4-3 in play isn't that big a deal. Why is my opponent cheating so much? 
This life steal. So that's why we have Captain Unfairin for whenever our opponent's cheating, we can also play unfair with the Captain. <laughs> yep, heal G. Now I wish I would have blocked this with the 3-3 three, three, so that my 1-1 one, one would have a little bit better of attack. But I guess they have the 2-4 anyway. The 2-3 anyway. Dang. You get to play everything. Behold my work! Ocean Mara. Um, if I attack like this, the Overwhelm gets blocked by the 7-7, seven, seven, the 2-1 gets blocked by the 2-3, and then they just block my 3-3 three, three with the 1-1. One, one. So I'm losing two things, they're only losing 1-1-1, one, 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 and I just do one damage to them. I think I could just pass. Out of my way. Oh, Farron, you didn't say anything cool. You gotta be like, I'm Captain Unfarin. Out of my way. I'm gonna end this. One mana traveler. Yeah, two off with the Eclipse Dragon, one off with the Mountain Scryer. So 12 mana next turn, I don't get to go Misfortune plus Double Decimate. If I go Double Decimate, I have two extra mana. Played infinite cards. And Captain Farron ends it. Well, we did play infinite cards. So that was cool. All right, Zoe Lee Sin, basically they're going to need to have a fast Lee Sin hand A or a whole bunch of I the Dragons B. Those are going to be like their two ways to be able to um, possibly win the game. If they don't have Lee Sin or, or I the Dragon, I feel very good about our chances. So the getting rid of the Noxion Fervor is a little weird because the Noxion Fervor is an answer to Eye of the Dragon, but I figured with me having the Spray Fin that was going to draw another um, Noxion Fervor anyway. That we could put it back. We didn't need a second, likely. There's plenty of killing left. 
They've had a good hand though. You know, usually like their deck can be slower. They've had, you know, like this is a good start for them. You know, Zoe into Mountain Goat. Their 1-1 one, one drop in, in, to a good 2-drop. Ooh, they juked me out. I jumped off sides, 5-yard penalty. They got me with the hard count. So why pass priority and then it do that? Like why not just do that to begin with? So what is their goal? Why pass priority first and then do that? So they wanted to pass and then I don't develop more? In range. I've got us covered. So I could fervor this 3-3 and do an, an additional 3 points of damage to them, put them down to 9. I guess I hold the fervor. That's true, Nobify could be a card. Could be a card they could have. I would have opened and attacked until drawing the misfortune. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. We each hold the world within. They are on the trigger. Binds us. I do want to get rid of this Eye of the Dragon, of course. It's a card that can heal their Nexus. Oh, I meant to target the 3 3. Whoops. Not that. I meant to. I, I meant to do the fervor on that thing and then. and the. Two damage on the three three. Whoops. Okay, they did have the notify. They're holding that for because they they basically could they could tell that I had that card in hand because of the spray pin. It wasn't difficult for them to figure that one out. And we'll have Captain Unfarin next turn. Is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. My complete. The dragon spirit awakens. So they are currently holding the two cards that I am the most scared of in their entire deck. I have the dragon and Lee Sin.
This is a tough choice. Right now, attacking out does three damage to them. And they heal their Nexus for two with the block, so it deals one total damage. So, like, right now, I attack out would put them to four. But they would most likely use pump spells on the two one. I think we actually lose this. I think we lose this. Yeah. If that would have hit them, then of course I would have had like the attacks here that you know like that then then I would have been feeling good. But now now we lose this. And so like any two spells stop the Farron, only only deny stops the decimate. But you know, like with Lee with you know, like yeah, so. Yeah, those are, those are the two cards that, that win that matchup. I of the Dragon and Lee Sin. That's what I, I said at the very beginning. They had them both. Those are the two cards that win that matchup. And they had a great hand. Like, you know, like they had turn one Zoe, turn two Mountain Goat to get them to the I of the Dragon part of the game where they were able to play a bunch of spells with the I of the Dragons. And then also had the Lee Sin. They even had the Overwhelm. They had the Deny for my Decimate. They had it all. So they, they win. All right, Triple Misfortune. What you got for me, Triple Misfortune? I'm one of the good guys. I'm not that good. Hot on the trail. Oh, like a block there could be, you know, like not too bad. With me having the Misfortune ability, Bunt. Tread carefully. Love ya. Yeah, I don't I don't feel bad about losing that last game. I don't yeah, I don't feel bad about that game at all. Everything's in place. Boom. Protect the villages. I didn't kill the 3 1. Alright, but this does put pressure on them because with attacking like this, with knowing that I have Grenadier, they have some kind of. Yeah, I was gonna say, they have some kind of interaction spell. So it does put pressure on them to have like the interaction spell on both of these places now. Alright, so now we have two things with one health, which, you know, obviously makes my Maker Rain even better. Man, another Island Navigator. Man, we just can't we can't kill this trapper. I of course wanted to hit both things with one health. And so I wanted to play so I played this first before you know I played anything else because I didn't want them to be able to, you know, play more things and reduce the chance the right of hitting those things. The ocean whispers and secrets. Always forward. So I'm playing two island navigators. People don't really play island navigator in this deck, but island navigator is incredible. Yeah, I mean that game's over. 
So we're going to be able to attack again. Our misfortune would level up. That game's over. Alright, Shivana, Aurelian Soul. Hope to not, not run into a whole bunch of Lifesteal Daybreak cards like we did the first game. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be keeping spray fin. I was definitely mulliganing the fervor, but the spray fin I wasn't so sure about. I feel like their things may be larger. Decided to get rid of it. Another day guarding the walls. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. So they waste all this mana if I don't attack? We haven't had any, like, no Captain Farron games, right? We've had, like, Captain Farron, like, every game. I fight for the fallen! Ugh. Who's angry for action, I? Eh? Healing is cheating. Our opponents keep cheating. Healing is cheating. This, okay, this opens me up to, like, that opens me up to single combat. Lock the doors. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. Come. Yeah, it wasn't too much I was going to be able to do to stop them from getting a Radiant Guardian. They do seem to have infinite My Eclipse Dragon things. A promise to bloodbath. Oh, bloodbath. All right, they're down to eight. My shield is yours. I do want my things to be able to die to Noctian Fervor. So now everything besides the Gangplank dies to Noctian Fervor. Not very much. Might as well play you. I'm keeping up, like, you know, I'm keeping up my Noxion Fervors.
Um, but I didn't want to play him yet because next turn we would get Powder Keg and I could go Powder Keg, sleep with the fishes, and then still, you know, have these to respond. Obviously now I have to respond. You and me, let's go. There we go. No fight spells. Three and one. I won't stop coming for those who wronged me. Old pirate burn. Seconds of the day. What are we playing against? Oh, the deck we lost to, Lisa and Zoe. Alright, well they most likely won't have as good of a hand as they just had at that last game. Most likely. So this will be um, turn one precious pet attack, turn two double jagged butcher. Okay, maybe they'll have the exact same hand. And Balding Yeti! Also getting that resub in. Thank you, Balding Yeti. Ugh, oh, those 60 hour work weeks? Yeah, those are rough. Those are rough. Yeah, maybe they maybe they'll just have the exact same hand they had last time. Turn one Zoe, turn two Mountain Go. And now if they follow this up with in a little bit, have uh, I the Dragon and Lee Sin with a whole bunch of spells, then I guess we will lose. We each hold a world within. Yeah, I need I need new badges, not a bot. I do need new badges. I agree. QQ deserves the the two month badge, the two year badge. No prey. No yeah, pay. there's Eye of the Dragon. Is the prediction still going on from last time, Nashor? Okay, so this prediction was from last game that we won. I will fix that. Dangerous waters. <laughs> oh no, Plunder Poro! Why do we always make Plunder Poro? This Island Navigator has been incredible for us though in these games. It's such an underrated card. I think that's why we've been having a bunch of success. Because we were playing Island Navigator, unlike most people. Be smart. Love ya. Wow, no blocks at all. None. Let's get to it. I think they want to cast like both these gems so they get two spells, so they get a draggling. What is gained when we return malevolence? If they can't kill my misfortune and or like hush the misfortune, you know, like get rid of any of that. Like if we get to level up misfortune next turn gonna be difficult for them to survive. Who's ready for a show? Show. Not all mean well. Head up ship time. So they want they want to pale cascade. Ciao. 
Well, that was pretty fortunate. Breathing. Lock the doors. Always forward. The dragon binds us. Your lesson begins. So that should be the Pell Cascade on the, the 2 1 lifesteal. Make that a 4 2. Ready yourself. So I, I can either go. Like, I can play the Spider. And then Spider plus Decimate, or just triple spell with these things. Okay, so they want to play, like, something else first so they can have their Pell Cascade draw a card. But now we have the leveled up Misfortune, so. As long as they don't have Hush, we are looking good. This is our way. That's Captain Fortune. And I want to get this attack in immediately before a Hush comes along. Um, I guess, the, oh, they can have Deny, though. They can Deny the bullet time, and then, yeah, I guess that's the worst-case scenario, is Deny plus, you know, like, we know they have the Pale Cascade, right? Like, that's a card that we know about. So, like, Deny plus Pale Cascade honestly would be a mess. Bullet time should just be, like, three separate skills. You can't just deny it. All right, you cannot Nobify that. The lesson begins. The dragon binds us. That's going down to two. Too little. Ready yourself. That's going down to one. So they did not have deny. That's what they need was deny plus kill cascade. Guiding Touch can stay alive through Demolitionist, but nothing really stays alive through Decimate. So we will Decimate them. That's why I'm the captain. Alright, so again, our opponent had a very good hand there that last game also, but we had, we just also had a great hand. We had a pretty perfect hand with having, you know, one drop attack deal damage to them, double Jagged Butcher, and then turn three Misfortune, turn four Island Navigator, turn five Jack the Winner. Right, the but playing the two island navigators in here, this was a, a change I made to just the stock list. Like this was a, just a very stock list of pirate burn, except for I took out one corsair, one precious pet, and put in the two island navigators. And making that change was a really a big deal. Our um, island navigators were amazing. They were great with the misfortunes. They were le letting the like letting misfortune level up, and it's just a really good threat. It's really hard to block. Um, and when, when we have, when we can be really aggressive and have all this other aggressive stuff and then put a four drop on that allows us to also go wide and be very hard to block and attack multiple times, that's, that's really good. That's awesome. And so like we saw that, um, really, um, pay off for us in multiple matchups. Um, so yeah, I, lo I love that change. So this, this deck felt really, really strong. Um, you know, the Lee Sin, I think that Lee Sin Zoe matchup is pretty good for us, but we played, we played it twice, and they were both really close. One of them, my opponent won. One of them, we won. Both very close. Um, but I, I feel like over the long haul, that's going to be a good matchup for us. Because it's basically, like, if they don't have... Um, like, they have, they have two cards that really matter with the Eye of the Dragon and the Lee Sin. And so that's only six cards out of 40. And so, like, there's going to be games... You know, like, I don't know the exact percentage, but there'll be a, a good amount of percentage of games where they don't have those two cards. And I think all all of those games are pretty easy win, wins for us. And, um, you know, even with those cards, you know, it's still like we have a, a good shot. It's just those are the only two cards that matter. Uh, let's see from their end. Because um, I don't I don't think like, you know, like Zoe with super cool star charts and stuff. I don't think that's going to slow us down enough. We didn't get to play Captain Unfarin too much because we were killing our opponents a little too fast. But I, you know, like this is just like the best top end card to have. Jack the Winner actually looked kind of good. We had the one game where it got equinoxed, but then like another game where like we kept on creating the Sleep with the Fishes whenever my opponent had Radiant Guardian, and we just slowly killed them with Sleep with the Fishes. So it looks pretty good, just being a five mana five five. 
yeah, this deck's solid. Like I would, I would be pretty confident in just continuing to play this deck and ranking up with it. And, uh, but yeah, I, I love having the Island Navigators in here. I think that's a, a great addition. And if you like this kind of deck, and if you want to play this deck later on, definitely try out this version. Try out the Island Navigators yourself and let me know how it goes. Let me know how you like that uh, change and hopefully hopefully it, it does good for you. So yeah, y'all let me know on YouTube. How do you like these Island Navigators in here? Give this one a try. This is a great rank up deck. If you, you know, if you want like a good fast rank up deck and playing aggressive and winning a lot of games quickly, if you're uh, somebody who, um, you know, like maybe you're in like in uh, platinum or diamond or gold or wh wherever, and you just want to, you know, you want a deck that that's your goal, rank up, play this deck. It's really solid. It is. Um, but there we go. That's that's all I got here. So that's Pirate Burn. So yeah, those of y'all on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how that Island Navigator is um, and just anything else about the deck. Uh, yeah, I, I'd love to hear that feedback about it. All right, but that's all I got here for Pirate Burn. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.